Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I want to start covering here Solana. As you know that you've been following me, I've been having this pitchfork here forever since I started my YouTube channel. I do my YouTube channel. I do believe this was one of my first uh, charts actually I had. So I've been saying that Solana will go to this 160 uh, Fibonacci uh, pitchfork here. Sorry. So here on the daily, we can see we finally are approaching this pitchfork. Um, I do believe Solana to reach this level very very soon. So I do expect some heavy resistance here at around 160. Uh, and as I've been saying, this is the shift pitchfork. So I do believe Solana will, is going to have a pullback. I don't know how how uh, big of a pullback because we still have the modify shift here for Solana. And I do believe it's very possible that Solana was going to have a small pullback here. Maybe some sideways before then we go up here. And the, of course, the faster we go, the uh, lower the target will be. So let's say we it, 1st of April we reach, it's going to be 290. The, and the reason I, I think it's going to be very difficult for Solana to climb this high. This would mean another... 100% uh, gain for Solana and remember Solana has a very big market cap already it's one of the bigger coins in crypto but one of the reasons why I think that Solana can go so high is the most important chart is Solana Bit Bitcoin chart this is Solana versus Bitcoin so if Bitcoin just stays sideways now we just have bottomed here on the 0 0.31 on the Solana Bitcoin chart so if, as long as Bitcoin stays sideways or even goes higher this is going to be insanely bullish for Solana. This means that right now you want to sell your Bitcoin and buy Solana because Solana is going to outperform Bitcoin by 87% at least. The thing is, of course, if Bitcoin drops, this means Solana will drop less. So this, this chart can still go higher while Solana goes lower. So this chart is important to pay attention to. But right now, as I said, 160, I'm planning on taking some profits because I do believe this is going to be a major resistance here at 160. So I'm planning on selling some of my spot position and then entering a bit lower before they will go higher. We don't have to go so low, but I'm going to uh, update you how big of the pullback I believe is going to happen. Something also is very important is to look at Bitcoin. As I'm saying, uh, Bitcoin has stopped here on the weekly chart. We've had this huge pitchfork here. So as I said, I don't build, I don't think Bitcoin will break this level anytime soon. Bitcoin needs to consolidate. Ideal scenario is Bitcoin will just continue to go sideways. This would be the best scenario for altcoins to start rallying. Right now, altcoins look very bullish. Ethereum as well. We have here on the daily, we haven't done much today. Uh, I do believe Ethereum is still going to rally higher. Just please be careful because in the bull market, you can get these ugly wicks down like here, for example. Do you see how Ethereum can do this very, very ugly candles, weekly candles on the way up. So we are still here and we have one, two, three, four, five, six green weekly candles. So I hope Ethereum continues higher, but be careful in case Ethereum does something like this. So always make sure to manage your risk. Total or altcoin market cap still looks bullish. As the chart I had yesterday, empty volume gap here, no resistance, still going higher. Uh, so in this regard, I do believe alts are going to fly very, very quickly. Something else I want to cover is Silo one of my favorite charts right now. So if we go here on the log scale and we just delete this, we can see that there's an empty volume gap here. So I do believe once Silo can break, we're actually breaking this resistance right now and close above it, very quickly Silo is going to start to rally to 3.2. It's going to be my final target for Silo, probably even higher, but it's going to go at least 160% up this bull market. Something else I want to show you here, we took a trade in the VIP here because I wanted to enter on the way up. So we got long exactly down here. I had this chart, so we entered here long. Hope of uh, catching the bottom just before the break breakout. So as I had drawn here, this actually happened here. This is where we longed. So I do hope right now that Silo will just continue some sideways. We just need to take out this high, get a close above this, and Silo is going to start taking off like crazy. Same here on Theta that happened before, as I've been saying here on the weekly empty volume gap. As soon as we broke these highs here, Theta took off. So I'm hoping for something similar on Silo. Theta right now has had huge impulsive moves. So I do believe Theta will need to correct here on the four hour. We have some kind of resistance here. This pitchfork line here so we still get these weeks below eh, above so if it might pull back a bit before then we'll go higher here is some kind of demand zone so i guess that uh, theta could come down here before then we'll go higher but overall alts look very bullish right now i also look really like the say avax chart this is another trade we're long in right now if you want to join the vip group just click the link down below so we entered long here on avax we still have this pitchfork to reach on the four hour time frame and if we remove the pitchfork and go on the daily time frame, we're right now making the fifth wave here on AVAX uh, because we have a 
one two three four and right now the fifth step is starting i'm hoping it's going to take off very very soon of course we could continue sideways before we take off but i already see a very long sideways fourth wave here so in my opinion avax should take off sooner or later something else that also looks interesting is say finally say say has bottomed i'll show you something very interesting here so i have this as i want to Three, the fourth wave bottom at the 0 0.31. You can literally make millions just by longing the 0 0.31, and I will show you exactly why. So, if we also, uh, let's say we did this as a third wave and this is a fourth wave, and we just move this one here to the third wave, look where we bottomed again. Here, you could just have longed. Of course, we did not reach the target. Say came up and we made another high. What does this mean? We changed the new high here and we make this as our third wave and look we just got a new fourth wave here and the target for say became higher so for say is going to around 101.5 so if you're not holding say this could be a very stable and safe play because you still have another 80 percent gain something you can do of this a bit late to the party of course you could open along here ideally you want to open along here with a tight stop under this and then aim for the highs here's a nice 13 to 1 but you could also do something like this here's a 2 to 1 very high probability trade uh, just something to keep in mind otherwise thanks so much for watching please comment down below what you would like me to cover in tomorrow's video and i will uh, keep uploading daily so if you want to catch the exact top of solana please subscribe on my own, it don't get better. No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller. Yeah, reach for my goals, hit it dead center, hit it dead center.